In our red flag video about LaToya Luckett and Tomika's Tommy Walker's relationship, we included a clip of her singing in front of her ex-boyfriend, Steve Jerome Thomas, better known as Slim Thug. In the comments section, many of our besties stated that since LaToya is now divorced from Tommy, she needs to give the big boss of the North another shot. But that might not be the best idea. Not only did they have a tumultuous relationship, but Slim Thug has a history of being a hot, stinking mess. You know how them, how they used to do on Jenny Jones and um, Ricky Lake, they used to have ladies selling their virginity? Bitch, a nigga couldn't have touched you if you want to take a selfie in my Bugatti. You gotta have zero miles like the car. Before we jump into today's video, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of barbecue beef jerky, cookies and cream popcorn, and green apple licorice. After getting the boot from Destiny's Child in 2000, she moved to Atlanta in the early 2000s, and during a trip back to Houston, she went to a nightclub with some friends. And that's when she first met fellow H-Town native Slim Thug. The father of one wanted her digits, but she told him she was just in town visiting from Atlanta. His response was, Ain't nothing but a flight. That was that. Right, right. There ain't nothing but a flight. I was not. We was ready. <laughs> he called her on her birthday, but the phone disconnected. He wasn't sure if she hung up on him, so he didn't bother calling her back. During another night out at a club, they ran into each other again. LaToya noticed him right away. He was looking almost as good as a bag of lemon pepper brisket beef jerky from rrgsnacks.com. <laughs> he approached her at the end of the night when the lights came on and asked her why she hung up on him. She told him that she didn't and it was just a big misunderstanding. From there, it was on and poppin'. They had their first date at an aquarium and started seeing each other frequently. She fell in love with his confidence and his height. She also loved how much he cared about his family. As for Slim Thug, he loved her sense of humor and how she was always dressed to impress from head to toe. They were attached at the hip, but eventually LaToya moved to Los Angeles to work on her debut studio album. While there, she was broke as a joke. During an Instagram live session, LaToya said she slept in her car sometimes and got a hotel room other nights. She survived on a gallon of water and microwavable noodles. So where was her man Slim Thug? He couldn't throw her a couple of dollars so she could get a proper meal? Like I've always prided myself on, oh, well, I'm an independent woman. And that's partially because I never was protected by a man like that or provided for by a man. It was all about love. Many years later, during an Instagram live session, Slim Thug said that if a woman wants him to pay her telephone bills and her automobile, she needs to, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I'm 42. It's a lot of you working a nine to five and pay bills for a woman. I ain't never paid a woman bills in my life. Not even Latoya Lucky. He would fly out to see her and they recorded a song called Hey Fella. LaToya's debut album was released in 2006. After her manager heard him rap, he sent some of Slim Thug's music to a label, which led to Slim Thug getting signed to Geffen Records. He went on to collaborate with LaToya's old Destiny's Child group member, Beyonce, on her 2005 song, Check On It. Yeah, awkward. Slim Thug was ready to lock it down. They even got engaged. However, as he gained popularity, the groupies were all over his big self. In a joint interview on her YouTube channel, LaToya said his environment didn't align with his desire to settle down and have a family. With her. Out of frustration, she would constantly break up with him. During those breaks, he thought it was over for good, so he would start clapping other women's cheeks. In a candid moment shared with online users, Slim Thug admitted he conceived a child, and that was the end of that. After 10 years of being off and on, even therapy couldn't fix their relationship. Last time we went to therapy, I won. See, that's what therapy, see? That's yeah, what and, she, and we never went back. <laughs> so they went their separate ways. Although she didn't mention Slim Thug by name, she told Own's Black Love series that after finding out a past boyfriend cheated on her, she pulled up to her dad's job and asked him why he cheated on her mom. LaToya said it was the first time she had been cheated on, and she wanted to get more insight into what causes a person to betray someone they claim to love. 
Her dad took off work and they had a long conversation about infidelity. LaToya told him, explain cheating to me. Explain how I'm supposed to get over this heartbreak. Explain to me why this person had to lie to me this whole time and was able to look me in my face. I want to know. Their conversation brought her and her dad closer together and it made her realize her dad was human and had flaws. Despite severing ties romantically, she and Slim Thug were still connected in many ways. As of this video, their families are still very close. Whenever they would bump into each other, he would tell her, you're my soulmate. However, Latoya was convinced she could find someone better. So he had no choice but to move on. He started dating a biracial woman. And before you get your panties in a knot, the fact that she was biracial is very much relevant to this story. Okay, so listen, he was dating this biracial woman and Slim Thug told Vibe magazine that her white side was fulfilling all of his needs. He said she cooked for him and did everything he told her to do, which is why their relationship was so great. He added, she don't be begging and I don't gotta buy her all this crazy. White women treat they man like a king and black women feel like they ain't gotta do that. Black women need to stand by their man more. He also said most single black women need to lower their standards and bow down to their black kings. In response to his remarks, the internet lit his tail up. He hopped on Twitter to defend himself and said anyone who didn't like what he had to say could suck his Texas hammer. But when the heat got even hotter, he called into Big Tigger's radio show and said his comments to Vibe magazine were taken out of context. Mm-hmm. When asked for her thoughts about his statement, LaToya didn't condemn him. Instead, she told the YBF.com, I mean, you know, whatever was said was said, but on my end, black is beautiful. Slim Thug continued to post a bunch of tomfoolery on his Twitter account, and his outspokenness rubbed many online users the wrong way. For anyone who was offended, he made sure they knew that LaToya was the one who set up his Twitter account, so she was the one to blame for his online antics. By the summer of 2011, Slim Thug reportedly broke up with his girlfriend and was spending time with LaToya. He even shared pictures of the two of them planking on his Twitter. But by October 2011, whatever was going on was donezo. LaToya told Essence magazine that the reconciliation rumors were false and she wished Slim all the best. Five months later, Slim Thug announced he received some paternity test results and he was the father of a baby boy named Drew. So that makes two children he conceived while LaToya was still somewhat in the picture. And then, months after Beyonce gave birth to Blue Ivy, he wrote in a tweet, Still pissed I ain't find Beyonce first and put a baby in her. <laughs> Sir, don't you have enough cheering to take care of? He later made a joke, Right group, wrong girl. In reference to him being in a relationship with LaToya instead of Beyonce. I was watching Beyonce on TV and um, she was doing some real sexy as dance moves and I was just bullshit, man. LaToya laughed it off during an interview with Flat TV. I don't pay any attention to his craziness. Besties, would you be okay with your ex publicly lusting after your friend and former business associate? Let us know down below. The press was still heavily invested in LaToya and Slim Thug's relationship, and she had to make it clear during an August 2013 interview that they had outgrown each other. Meanwhile, Slim Thug was on Twitter celebrating negative paternity test results involving another woman. As of this video, we can confirm he has three children by three different women. LaToya married Tomicus in December 2017, and they went on to have two children. After cheating allegations, LaToya announced in January 2021 that they were ending their marriage. Since her breakup, she has been spotted out with Slim Thug, and both of them are always grinning and looking happier than a pig in slop. He was in attendance to watch her perform at Rodeo Houston in 2023. As she performed her song, Torn, LaToya can be seen pointing at Slim Thug as she sings, a part of me wants to leave you alone, alone. A part of me wants for you to come home. Mm, mm, mm. Now, we ain't ones to gossip, but um, LaToya, a week after your little friend watched you perform at Rodeo Houston, he grabbed his passport and his luggage. He was spotted out in Brazil getting a little lappy dance from a baddie. He bet not have conceived baby number four while he was there. After finding out the truth about LaToya and Slim Thug's relationship, do you think she should spin the block and give him another chance, or does she need to stick a fork in it? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.